kids we're back with another unbelievably fun game think you're gonna love this because as you can see I've got coins in my hands like legitimate golden coins kids you know the coins you like to play with in just a little bit our next gen team of myself Taryn and Christine we're gonna have a little competition to see who can put the most coins or who can put a coin in each of these buckets we're gonna be standing back here about four squares back and we'll be chucking one after the other until we land a coin into each bucket. So like, why are we doing this game? Glad you asked. Today's lesson is all about the woman at the well. And a lot of times when you're at a well, you're like throwing a coin in there. You know, it's kind of something fun to do. And we figured these would be our wells today. This story is unbelievable. It's a life-changing story about Jesus encountering a woman. But before we get there, we're going to have an unbelievable time doing this game. Let's make it rain! I'm Dallas. I'm Taryn. I'm Christine. And, and this, this is Bridgewood Kids.
Welcome, Bridgewood kids. We're so pumped to be with you again today. Ladies, how excited are we? Woohoo! We, we are so, so pumped. excited. Yes, and we've got fun games. We've got a lesson that you're going to love, worship. It's all jam packed into this Bridgewood kids experience. So here's what we need you to do. We need you to buckle up. You know, like when you get in a car and you're getting ready to go on a fun trip, that's what this experience is about. So you ready to buckle up? Here we go. Woo. Click it. All right. One more thing before we get rolling. We love to hear kids make noise because that means they're excited. So on three, we want to hear your loudest scream, cheer, whatever you do, whatever noise that you make, we want to hear it. Are you ready? One, One two, two, three. three. Oh, yeah. They are ready. All right. Bridgewood kids, let's make it happen. Taryn, I am going to tell you three things about me. Two things are true and one thing is false. All right, so are you ready? Yes. Okay, so number one, I have been to Disney World in Florida. Number two, I have been to Universal Studios in Florida. 
or number three, I have been to Disneyland in California. Hmm, I think I know which one of these may be true and which one is false, but do you know who would always win at this game? Who? God. God knows everything about everything and that includes you and me. That's right, and that is exactly what we are going to talk about today in The Big God Story. This week in The Big God Story, we join Jesus traveling with his disciples. They followed the Red Arrow route from Judea to Galilee. In those days, it was common to go a longer way. The longer route was to go east, or the Green Arrow, cross the Jordan River, go north, then recross the river. But Taryn, why would they go the longer way? That doesn't make any sense. If it was me, I'd go the shorter, faster way through Samaria. Right, especially if you're on foot. But Christine, there was a problem. The Samaritans and Israelites had disagreed with each other for hundreds of years. Ah, that's right. They had a disagreement about the best place to worship God. The Samaritans worshiped at Mount Gerizim. That's right, and the Israelites worshiped at Mount Zion. Because of this disagreement about which mountain to worship God at, the Jewish people and the Samaritans didn't really get along. Yes, and sometimes the Jewish people would go way out of the way and travel a lot longer just to avoid Samaria. Did Jesus avoid Samaria? No way. Jesus went right through it along with his disciples. In that time, there were no cars, no motorcycles, or even bicycles. Most people just walked wherever they went. Have you ever been hiking or walked most of the morning? How do you feel once it hits noon? You feel tired and hungry. Well, Jesus and his disciples were no different. When it got to be about noon, Jesus and his disciples came to a small town in Samaria. Jesus saw a well and sat down beside it. While Jesus rested by the well, his disciples went into town to buy food. While Jesus was resting there alone, a Samaritan woman came to the well. Now remember, Jewish people didn't really like Samaritans, and at that time, men didn't really talk to women that they didn't know. So imagine how surprised she was when Jesus asked her for a drink of water. Right, so Jesus saw the shocked look on her face and answered her. If you knew the gift of God and who it is that asked you for a drink, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. Jesus invited this Samaritan woman to discover that he was no ordinary man. Jesus told her that he was a gift from God. He could give her the living water, which is another phrase for salvation. Right, in John 4.14, we see that Jesus tells the woman, Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. Then Jesus surprised the woman and told her something that no one else knew about her. You see, Jesus knew everything about her. He knew about the hurt in her heart and about the sin in her life too. Jesus loved her and wanted to redeem every part of her life. Mm, that's good. And amazed by how much Jesus knew about her, the woman responded, Sir, give me this water so that I may never be thirsty again. The woman was waiting for the Messiah, the one who would come and restore relationships with God. Right there in the middle of the day, sitting by a well, Jesus revealed to the woman who he really is, the Messiah, the one she was waiting for. Suddenly, the woman realized that she wasn't just talking to any ordinary Jewish man. She was talking to the Messiah, the Redeemer, the one for whom she and all the people of Israel had waited for thousands of years. The Bible tells us the woman was so excited that she left her water jar and ran into town telling everyone about Jesus. 
Right, and the Bible also tells us that many people came to believe in Jesus because the woman told them all about him. Jesus stayed in Samaria to teach the new believers who he is. Jesus knew everything about the woman, the good stuff and the bad stuff, and he still loved her. She was a Samaritan and a sinful woman, but Jesus spent time with her, spoke with her, treated her with respect, and showed God's love to her. Because of this, the woman told everyone about her encounter with Jesus, the Messiah. Yes, and Jesus knows everything about everyone. Like I said earlier, the good stuff, the bad stuff, everything. Right, and despite everything that Jesus knows, he still loves us deeply. God loves you in your struggles. He loves you in the good times. And so right now, let's just pray and thank him. Dear Lord, we just thank you so much for who you are. Thank you for loving us despite our sin, despite the struggles and the good times. We just love you so much. We're grateful to be known and to know you. Um, yeah, we just love you and we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Taryn. Christine, we never finished our game. That's right. I never told you guys which was the truth and which was the lie. So just to recap really quickly, I've been to Disney in Florida, Universal Studios in Florida, and Disneyland in California. Which one do you think is false? Oh, you've even been to Disney in Paris. <laughs> I think Disneyland in California is false. Actually, I've been there too. I've never been to Universal Studios. What? Not ever. I've never seen any of those types of parks. I just am a Disney girl. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> well, on that note, we wish you all a very pleasant day. Have a great week, Bridgewood Kids.
Well, Christine, this story about the woman at the well is one of my favorites. Yes. Powerful story about how Jesus reroutes himself mm -hmm. to go to a certain location to find someone in need and how he touches her life and then she touches a bunch of other lives. Awesome story, which brings us to... Trivia, Trivia time. time! And today's answers can all be found in John chapter four. So here is today's first question. Why didn't the Israelites want to travel through Samaria? Question number two, why wasn't Jesus supposed to talk to the woman at the well? And question number three, what truth did Jesus reveal to the woman at the well? And question four, what did the woman do when she realized who Jesus is? I think the woman was probably like, are you kidding me? But anyways, that's how I would have been <laughs> if I encountered Jesus at a well. So, Christine, before we call this episode, this experience quits. Yes, it's time. You know what's time. coming up. It's time for One, one More thing. thing. Okay, kids, before we close this online experience, we always like to leave you with one more thing, and that is we want to be kids so close to Christ that everyone in the world will know him. See you, kids!